So let's start at the beginning. So this is a three of wands. Wands are motion, wands are action, and it does look like you've take a step, you've taken a step into some growth for yourself, that you've made some um, aware changes on how you either deal with people, communicate, um, how you process, but it does look like you're right at the tail end of incorporating a lot of those uh, changes that you've made and healing yourself. This orange is really lighting up very intensely in the green. So it does feel like you're in a new growth space. Things are looking a little different. There's some confusion. I'm seeing a lot of question marks in my head. You're not sure what the next step is. And sometimes the three of wands kind of um, dictates that you wait. You wait a little bit and let things be shown to you. But it does feel like these ships here, it does feel like your ship is coming in, that you have done a lot of the hard work over the last couple of years and months. Um, and that it does feel like your abundance is upping a little bit, that your ship is coming in is what it, it feels like. But it does feel like there has been some interpersonal shifts, whether it's releasing friendships or lovers or, you know, putting your foot down with your kids. But it does look like some communication has changed as well as some processes of how you deal interpersonally. What crosses you here is the Knight of Swords in the Night. Um, of swords. Sometimes he goes back. So he's facing backwards. So make sure not to go back too far. You know, when we grow, it's two steps forward, one step back. But this does feel like a warning about not revisiting the past or not going back to either an old lover or a friendship or a job that you think has changed. It does feel like even though it's presented that it's different, that it really isn't. And, you know, it's always best to go forward in time versus back. Um, but it, the sword is lighting up that you will get clarity about the situation, um, job, love relationship, something like that. There are a lot of people here, so it's feeling more like an interpersonal, either friend or lover, partner, that there has been some changes and some shifts. So it may take a little bit of time to totally integrate those shifts and find a balance within a relationship, whether it's friendship or lover. Um, but it does look like you're taking a little bit a step back, um, but you will get clarity pretty darn quickly that the situation hasn't changed, even though they have presented that it has. Here is the King of Pentacles here. This may be a Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It may represent you. I think this is a twofold. This feels like um, staying in integrity in a situation. You know, the King of Pentacles, he's very noble. He also is money oriented. He's physically oriented. He's based in reality. Um, and that's part of one of your uh, beautiful attributes is that you're, uh, you base things in reality on the physical plane and uh, manifest from what you know. So it does look like you are either uh, creating some kind of an agreement in order to either move on or um, move into a different space in this relationship. This does feel like a male. It really does feel like a male. I don't like to put gender stuff on it. So you may be... Um, making some kind of agreement, either spiritual, or verbal, written agreement uh, around money or jobs or even getting new opportunities to make money. So that looks like it's right above you and it feels like it's something you're already aware of and that you already have your hands in, Cap. So it could be a raise, you could be negotiating, but it's something to do with money coming into you, either money that was owed to you or um, <clears throat> a more balanced way of um, achieving money or um, you know, getting a raise, something like that. Queen of Pentacles is here. She is also very noble, uh, very material oriented. So it does feel like you're getting your material things under control, maybe paying some bills that have been outstanding. And the queen, you know, she, um, she's nurturing, she's motherly, she is, um, very attentive. So, um, this also does not feel like a person. This feels like a situation. And what's coming to me is it's time to nurture you, Capricorn. You know, you're giving out a lot of energy you have over the last couple of months. And now it's time to refocus to your earthly body, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this does feel like um, an earthly body. So now it's time to heal yourself. Um, maybe you're embracing a... a better nutrition, um, 
embracing some kind of exercise, moving your body around, but it does feel like a new um, commitment to yourself to put yourself first, you know, not disregarding others' feelings or, or their desires, but, but definitely healing yourself first before you take on other people's stuff. So the fool is right here, and the fool is always a reminder to take a leap of faith. You know, he's walking off the edge into the unknown, but he's pretty happy about it. This is the zero in the tarot deck. So this is the beginning of a journey, and that's what I'm feeling is this is a brand new beginning for you. Things look completely different to you from one day to the next. It does look like you have been putting off making some uh, changes to some agreements um, over the last couple of years and you've taken the bull by the horns and made those changes so the fool is just here to remind us to keep going you know um, redo the bucket list if that's what it takes uh, but he also reminds us not to um, repeat the same mistakes twice don't be a fool type of thing it's a little bit more esoteric than that it is new beginnings and i know you've been working on a lot of stuff so um Welcome to your brand new day, Capricorn. So death card is here. Uh, this is normally endings of things. It does have some people around it. So for some of you, it may be the physical transition into death for uh, a loved one. That, But it does look like it's something that is not... Um, shocking. It may be someone that has been battling a disease or something, but for the most part, death is the ending of something. It does feel like it has to do with people or situations, could be a job or actually a relationship. There is no indication whether it is solely on the heart level. So, but it does feel like all those endings that you've been kind of waiting for are right around the corner. Um, so new beginnings are right here. That's that's great. The fool and then the death. So it does look like you're already anticipating these endings and you're looking for new things, new things that uh, either are on your bucket list or um, new jobs, new relationships. But it does look like it's a the ending is here, the one that you've been waiting for. The four of swords is here and. The Four of Swords is kind of a tricky card. It's one where you're losing sleep. You, um, The creature comforts aren't being met. So many of you may be not eating well or sleeping well or having kind of disturbing dreams when you are. But it does look like you are plucking off things one at a time and dealing with them. Um, one is already completed. So it does look like things are coming back back into balance, but I would encourage you Capricorn to move your body around a little bit and validate it if you, you haven't been doing that lately. Um, that will help you sleep, but it does look like your third chakra, your second chakra, all your emotions and stuff are kind of taken over for the creature comforts, eating, sleeping. Um, so make sure that you give your body what it needs, um, but it does look like this will be lessening a little bit as this progression from the full to death happens as this ending is more clear and more eminent for you it will lessen all this you'll be able to get some sleep but i'm feeling there's something popping up here too caps that um give your body at least three hours before you go to sleep um after you eat so your body isn't processing this food and you can get rejuvenative sleep so if you stop eating three hours uh, before you actually lay down, it will help your body to really rejuvenate instead of you working while you're sleeping. So the Ace of Wands is here and, you know, Wands are motion aces or God cards. This is Hand of God stuff. This is karmic things um and it feels like something that's gonna just hit you like a bolt out of the sky um just kind of a sudden um a sudden awareness it is across from the death so it may be someone that is transitioning that you weren't aware of but i feel like you are aware of what is happening but it does feel like a bolt from the sky some some information that comes through just out of nowhere. So pay attention. It does look like that will be happening in October. It does look like it also requires some action from you and the family to resolve this, but it does look like it's an opportunity. 
It feels like it is a challenge when it is presented to you, but it will ultimately be a great opportunity for you. So pay attention to those messages that are coming through. The Queen of Wands is here. You have a lot of exalted cards. You have Queen, King, Queen, uh, two Queens. You have all the Queens. So it does look like choosing your words wisely, uh, being exalted, coming from a, a place of love and understanding as you're speaking these hard truths. It does look like more of that is coming up this month, Capricorn. But um, it's time to put a little action into all the things that you've been talking about for a couple of months. You know, it's still a concept until you put some motion to it. But uh, the Queens are here to remind us to keep it real to be in integrity, come from a place of love, nurturing. Um, you know, women represent that motherly, nurturing, unconditional love. So you have three of them here. Uh, stay in integrity if you are battling anything with the, with the um, people in your awareness. So just keep it light and unconditional. But not only does the wand feel like action and motion and some divine it feels like some divine opportunity will present itself to you. So um, don't close yourself off only to a couple of choices in motion. Be open to the big picture and what spirit will present you. It looks like it's something that you have thought about doing, um, but this is an opportunity. And I, I think that it may be someone that's bringing you an opportunity to make more money or money on the side, a side job, or um, just doing something that is a passion of yours and possibly taking a passion and actually making um, a living from it. So Queen of Swords is here. She kind of cuts through the jive. She speaks clearly with an with integrity. Um, she also sometimes can live too much in her head. So make sure you get some motion with this Queen of Wands here. You want some motion with all these great ideas, um, not just the concept. Don't be afraid to use your words um, with love and kindness and neutrality. The Page of Swords is here and, and pages are messages if they're not children, although this change right here can definitely affect children. If this is a child, it would be an air sign and Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, but I'm feeling that this is more about messages. And um, this is a sword, and that's news of problems or difficulties. So there may be something coming up with this Queen of Swords. Um, and you know, the Queen of Swords can stand for all sorts of stuff. She's, she's air, she's creativity, she's mental acuity, and your intuition. So you may be getting some messages that you have felt. So trust your intuition. Um, yeah, just trust your intuition. It feels like your intuition is being peaked. It does feel like um, trust it more and more and more. This Knight of Pentacles is facing in the forward direction. So it does look like some physical things will be um, writing themselves. If you're looking for a place to live, you know, you'll get messages about that um, new job or just how to resolve maybe an interpersonal uh, interpersonal problem within your family. It does look like there's a whole lot of focus on people right now, and people have a lot of opinions about your journey. So you may have to go to the top of the mountain and get your information from the God of your heart and trust your intuition over everything. I think that's what the Queen of Swords is here. She's really heralding you into your clarity. So trust yourself. The Page of Swords is here, so you may see something you don't like. But know that the truth will set you free, even if it is something um, that you don't like. So grief is the first one that comes down. It does look like with all these changes that you're kind of embracing some grief and processing that grief. Ultimately, processing the grief will create clarity as well as growth in your space. And I do see all this green just lighting up. You're growing tremendously. And it looks like even though it was kind of caca situation in the beginning. Um, it does feel like you have grown tremendously from that. So um, don't be afraid to feel that grief. Um, some people get stuck in it, but Caps, you know, I think pretty much you have been avoiding this grief. So it's time to really feel the gravity of all the changes that you are having. So, oh, okay. 
Let's do that one. And your soulmate. So it does look like you're having to clear out some of this energy in order to create that soulmate. But more than anything, um, the message is coming through is that you are the best soulmate um, for you right now. It's time for you to make you more important than everyone around you and everyone else's problems. You have put it off for years and now it's right in your face. So it's things that you really need to take care of. So it's time to embrace yourself as if you were your lover and be as kind to yourself as you are to others. 